Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We'll start with the remaining slides. Okay. Estimate the duration of time. Estimate the duration of time. See, we have this time can be divided as a working plan and elapsed time. Working plan and elapsed time. So, what is working time? Working time is a period of time that the person spends. That the person or employee, employee spends. It is known as working time. What is elapsed time? Elapsed time is a time difference between uh, beginning. It's a time difference. It's a time difference between beginning and end. Okay. Then we have a beta distribution like uh, have average duration. You have to calculate A four times B. This is A is this optimi uh, optimistic duration. Four times B it is actually is a formula to find out this uh, distribution. So four times typical uh, duration and C is the pessimistic duration. So what is this optimistic? Optimistic it is the fastest. It is the fastest possible time. It is the fastest possible time needed to complete a task. Needed to complete a task usually it involves cost, additional cost. And they actually um, nominal time. This is the nominal typical duration. Is the normal time duration. It is a normal time duration. Typical is a normal time. Okay. And pessimistic is is the slowest. It is the slowest time needed to complete the. task okay so here we have another two factors like independent verification and monte carlo simulation independent uh, verification is sometimes we say iv iv that is independent verification and validation and validation validation that is v so it is considered as a best practice in company it is considered as a best practice in the company uh, because it relates to the technology it relates to the technology So uh, actually, its main aim is to identify the risk. It identifies the high risk. It identifies the high, uh, identify high risk. Okay. So actually, uh, early stage of the uh, high, I mean, uh, high, identifies high risk of the project at early stages, and also it allows organization to prepare optional if there is any problem to prepare uh, any method or any ways to avoid it. is independent verification what is this kind of i mean this um, monte carlo monte carlo means actually it is a technique uh, used to understand the risk it is impact of risk used to understand the it's a method to understand the impact of risk very very important impact of risk and any uh, like uncertain financial needs uncertain financial uh, needs then you have the thing like um, forecasting yeah forecasting unseen events so helps it actually it is uh, helps to to visualize the potential outcomes for better decision actually it visualizes so it is a uh, so visualizes it visualizes for better outcome project outcome yes simulation the technique so you can foresee the future by just uh, putting these parameters to see how it will how it will be done in a very easy manner then we have uh, scheduling techniques very important scheduling techniques gantt chart gantt chart actually it is a type of a bar chart or it is illustrates a project schedule is a type of a bar chart it talks about schedule yes and it uh, like we have a chart like this see for example this chart Talks like this from this from January, February, March. So like like that. It, then you have to put the activities over here. What are the activities? One, two, three, four. So this is a Gantt chart. So it talks about like this. It talks about like the how the the time how it can be completed. Whether it can be completed. This for this for example, this work can be completed in January. Or this work can be completed in February. Or this work can be completed in March. So we have uh, overall idea about the completion of uh, work in a chart format. then what is this milestone chart so we have next one is a milestone chart so it is like this this milestone chart will be like this it is like this actually it is focuses on um, planned significant events 
that match which is scheduled to occur so the significant event scheduled to occur at a specific time okay so such event could be initiation or completion of a particular important or critical activity uh, review or approval dates for example let's say we can say something like um, start of a project start of a project is like when in january start start of project january 2017 okay then we can say here and uh, this is a line okay then here with this one this is some data gathering data gathering data gathering this is february 2017 okay then we have another one here let's say it's in march march 2017 we say it is uh, what is a checklist analysis checklist for the project similarly here like this it is uh, what do you do like software developing software software so here is april so this is how this milestone chart is designed okay then we have a uh, network scheduling methods network scheduling methods like aoa aoa is uh, activity aoa is activity on aro and aoa it is a activity on node so these are the important scheduling techniques it's actually it is the, it does uses circles so this uses circles it uses circles and uh, arrows it uses circles and arrows it uses circles and arrows yeah so it uses the mainly in critical path method like cpm critical path method path program evolution review technique so these are important techniques which you'll see in, in the remaining slides used to optimize the performance of tasks so they are used to optimize they used to optimize the performance okay then aoin aoin is a like another method scheduling method it uses boxes see they use circle they use boxes they use boxes and uh, refers to as they are referred to as nodes yeah they refer to as nodes then uh, to represent activities and it connects with arrows so it uses arrows for connecting it uses arrows for connecting it uses arrows for connecting yes then it shows uh, dependencies actually it shows dependency this is dependent on this one is dependent on two two is dependent on one like this it shows dependencies okay then pdm what is this pdm pdm is precedence 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 diagram method precedence diagram method actually it is uh, also a scheduling uh, method it uses um, boxes as uh, uses boxes then also it uses uh, i mean it uses boxes and it uses arrows it uses boxes arrows then it connects Uh, with various activities like uh, it connects with one, two, then three, similar to the A O N. Then it also uh, has uh, various uh, like uh, scheduling activities. Talks about uh, how uh, how like for example first first first, then uh, then start starting mode, then starting and ending. starting so first start so second start like ff i'll see you everything in detail in the next slide then uh, perth perth is a program evolution review technique perth is a program evolution review technique it talks about um, it's actually a tool is a tool visual tool for planning the activity then actually it actually it is also talks about time required to complete the task within the deadline yes so this actually ff is um, finish to start finish to start i'll give an example next slide finish to slide ss is start to start yeah so this is all then this pdm method i'll show you in next slide then we have this path okay critical path method critical path method it is um, again this is a technique it defines um, <clears throat> a time needed to complete the tasks time needed to complete the task within the deadline yeah okay it uses like a critical path select a path with how the path then 
3, 4, and 5. It, 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 it has a path, for example, 3, 2, 1, and how it completes, and uh, what is the duration of path used to complete. So the critical path method. And this also I'll show you an example. Then JERT. JERT is a graphical evolution review technique. So this is the, just a minute. JERT is a graphical evolution review technique. So it is a network analysis technique. So it is a network analysis technique. It's a network analysis technique. It talks about um, how the pro it's a, like probability of network, uh, like both network logic and estimation. It talks about uh, logic, network logic and estimation, activity, duration. That's very, very important. And even dummy activities are used here. Dummy activities are used. This also I'll show you in the next slide how it can be made to identify the relationship correctly to eliminate uh, confusion, to eliminate confusion. So these dummy activities are used. This I'll show you in the next slide how it is done. Okay, so first we'll see about Gantt chart. Gantt chart, it was actually uh, developed by Henry. It is developed by Henry during the World War, First World War. And it is constructed based on the work breakdown structure like mainly time schedules of the work elements and it is most uh, used as a project scheduling tool okay so main disadvantage is that it does not show the interrelationship that's the disadvantages and it cannot reveal the elements project elements that can be delayed so this is what because it actually generally shows the path like this in the so example this on january february then it shows about march then april so this is time time shows the time duration in the chart so the interaction, this is the activities, activities, how it is done. So this is how it is uh, designed. Then here we can see uh, two methods like uh, how we can do this. This is, this is a problem here, activity on node, activity on arrow, and considering the following example, and this is the predecessors, and how you can put the uh, pathway or path using this path technique. I'll show you that one. See, this is how it ends. See, this predecessor means in the beginning. It starts from the beginning, zero to A, then A to B, A to C, B, C to D, B to, you see it is from uh, B to 0 to A, then A to B, then A to C, then B, C, you have B, C, B, C, okay, two are here to D, then B to E, then D, E to F, see, it shows like this, it starts from 0, yeah, to A, to B, then A to C, then from B to E, C to A to B, a to B, okay, just a minute, it starts from A to B, A to C, B to D, uh, then C to D, B to E, then D to E, and finish with this dummy activity. So dummy activity is done so that to minimize the confusion between the uh, Two nodes, so it's a starting node and ending node. Start and end. Starting node and ending node. And this is a dummy activity. Dummy activity shown over here. Okay, see it is like starting zero to A, zero to A. Okay, then A to B, A to B, A to B. Okay, then A to C. See A to C. Then. Uh, B, C, D, see, B, C, it goes to, B, C, it goes to D, okay. Then B to E, again B to E, okay. Then D, E, F, see, D, E, it goes to F, 